This video brought to you by EquestrianCoach.com, the world's leading equestrian education source. Here we see the poster of the 1960 Olympic Games in Rome. There was the Nations Cup course. If it says Olympic Stadium, that's where the Nations Cup was, which this is versus the individual competition, which was in the Piazza di Siena. This is myself, George Morris, riding the fabulous thoroughbred Sinjin. And you'll see uh, he was very quick horse. He was about 15, three and a half, but had enough scope for this Olympic Games. Those are two very, very wide oxes, one stride. And you'll see uh, in those days, we all rode a very forward seat with a short rein, really just as I teach today. You'll we'll see what a lovely, careful horse he was. Now we're back in the Piazza di Siena. This is footage of the individual competition. This is you, Wiley, on Master William, a horse of very big scope. Unfortunately there, Master William jumped him back. He dropped back in the air and hit the back of that oxer there. This horse is about 17 hands. Here's a wonderful trail guide, old army horse with Frank Chapeau. We're back in the Olympic Stadium in the Nations Cup competition. You'll see uh, even in those days, even Frank Chapeau rode in a very forward seat with a short rein. This is a remarkable horse, he's an older horse. I think he was thoroughbred or almost thoroughbred. He was an iconic animal. There's a very narrow, delicate, high style and a Swedish oxer. There were big jumps, there were big jumps. Not as technical perhaps as today, but technical enough and big jumps. This could be Nelson Pessoa. It's very indicative of his style. I can't be absolutely sure but it looks like him. This is the great Piero Denzeo. We're in the Olympic Stadium. This is the Nations Cup. This is the horse. He was individual silver medal on an Irish horse called the Rock. But you can see here, he's very tired. The two round of the individual earlier in the week took a great deal out of them. Took its toll in the, in the team competition. The Germans won. We were second and the Italians third. But this horse really had nothing left. Uh, he was a half-bred horse versus a thoroughbred horse, and that took its toll. The blood took its toll. And he had quite a few fences down, especially behind. There was really nothing left. That's very, very typical of how, and here again, how Piero rode. He galloped against the base of the fence, and the horse got very round. Here is his brother, Ramundo Denzeo, on his gold medal, individual gold medal horse, Posilipo, an Italian thoroughbred. Very hot little thoroughbred, very hollow. His head way up. But he, uh, despite his style, won the gold medal in Rome that year. This is the individual course. I remember the water very well, but especially the triple combination. The triple combination was wall, triple bar, oxer, and it was uh, one long stride and two very short strides. Here it is, or one and one. Here you see Master William, a big horse, couldn't add the two well. Here are some of the results of that triple combination. Still pictures of falls, of which there are many, many, many. Because some horses tried one and one, and some horses tried one and two. 